quick taste test of the Gardein Homestyle Beefless Tips. Hey everybody, it's Bird down here in St. Croix once again. Another gorgeous day as usual. Been getting rain on and off, so it's made made the plants grow really, really nice. Uh, just doing a quick taste test of the Gardein Homestyle Beefless Tips. Uh, finally found these in our store here the other day, and I figured, hey, we'll just give it a try. Uh, we have tried the other beef. Um, the there was one, and it was it was okay. I didn't do a review on it because I didn't think it was really worthy. Uh, I might do a review just so you'll you'll know which one I'm talking about. And this is the beefless tip, so let's get into it. And I did the stovetop preparation just like it said on the back. Um, you can you can use oil or water or however you want to do it. I use just a touch of oil. So let's get into it here. It smells really good. I did put a little bit of soy sauce and just a little bit of teriyaki just to give it a little more flavor. Okay. It's actually not too bad. Uh, the texture, it's it's trying to be meat, but it's really not. Let's just be honest. Uh, but I think that's actually really good. I think it it has like a meaty flavor. Uh, just the texture is a little more a little more gummy, a little more soft than you know like a pot roast would would be. But I think all in all, I think this is pretty really, actually I think this is really good. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Gardein beef products that I've tried so far. Um, I would easily give this an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, and But I would recommend seasoning it. I did throw in a little soy sauce, a little bit of teriyaki, just to give it a little punch of flavor. That's that's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm not even hating on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Gardein Beefless Tips. Have a great day.